What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the multiplayer maps we have confirmed from Activision so far for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. There's been a lot of Modern Warfare 2 news today. I'll have several different videos over the coming weeks about some of this news that's been coming out. But today we did get a bit of a reveal for how many maps we can expect to be in the game. Now they haven't confirmed every single map, but they did talk about how maps will work. It says Modern Warfare 2 will have different types of maps this year uh, compared to past, uh, kind of in the past. Uh, what they're going to do, of course, is still have these classic 6v6 maps, but they're also going to have some larger maps, you know, kind of like we saw in Modern Warfare 2019. So they're going to have core maps. These maps are designed specifically for 6v6 gameplay. So far, we know of five total maps. Um, four of these will be available in the beta. One of them will not, but four of the five will be available in the beta. We do not know if there's going to be any more core maps, but all core maps will be made just for 6v6 gameplay. Um, and that's a good thing in my opinion. A few of them they talk about are you know a little bit larger when it comes to 6v6 size, but some of them are you know kind of those small classic maps we come to expect when you're playing only six on six. Now they're going to do some other things as well, kind of like they did in Modern Warfare 2019, but they have handled it just a bit differently. What they're going to do this time is kind of have these large scale maps. These large scale maps will be kind of taken from places inside the new uh, war zone map. So. You're going to have things for, you know, like uh, ground war. Um, that's going to kind of be these large scale maps for larger team kind of battles. Like I said, for ground war, They're, they have not confirmed how many players are going to be on a ground war map just yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be like modern warfare 2019. I'm assuming it will. And I'm assuming we'll probably get some more maps announced the closer the time, you know, that kind of comes to launch or they'll get data mine or data mined or something like that. But when it comes to overall kind of, the way they're handling it, I, I like this a bit better because when Modern Warfare 2019 launched, there seemed like there was a lot of maps that were available to play, but some of them seemed really big uh, considering they're really designed for more things like 10 on 10. With this core map kind of idea, I really like the option of having, you know, just your classic 6v6 map. So if you want to play Dom, Search and Destroy, Team Deathmatch, you have the option to play those on maps that are designed for that style of play. They're not going to be these massive maps that are going to you know really feel like there's a lot of just kind of empty space that people don't use or it's not going to really feel boring you know to run around the map and not really see anyone for a long period of time when it comes to call of duty a lot of people like to get back into the action quickly and with those classic 6v6 maps that's going to be something we're definitely going to get now if you're a fan of ground war you're going to get some of those different parts from the new uh, warzone 2 map that will be available i'm sure it's probably going to be like it was in modern warfare 2019 where they add more of those later down the road as of right now, we only know of two large maps that's going to be available for Ground War. But I'm assuming, considering the game is going to be out for you know two years, we're going to get more and more content as it goes on. Now, will we have a ton of maps at launch? I'm not sure. I was just, I, I would guess, like I said, uh, that's just kind of me, you know, guessing, not not knowing anything, not seeing any leaks that there would be more maps available, but. It could be something, you know, where it's uh, you have a smaller map pool to begin with because they're going to have to release stuff over the next two years to keep people interested in the game. So we may only have, you know, the five 6v6 maps. I was hoping they would get maybe at least eight and maybe at least four larger maps for Ground War and kind of go from there. If they just add, you know, one map for each kind of mode, you know, kind of down the road, you know, a couple months into the game, every few months we'll get a, a, new, a couple few maps, uh, a couple few new maps, excuse me. I think people would be happy with that. But leave me a comment. Let me know about your uh, your thoughts on this. Are you glad they're making classic 6v6 maps and then they're making some larger ground war maps? I'm hoping it's not going to turn into like Modern Warfare 2019 where, you know, eventually we'll see these classic 6v6 maps, but they also can have, you know, 10 on 10 on them. Uh, I, I was not a big fan of that. I think a lot of people were not a big fan of that. And I think going forward uh, from Modern Warfare 2019, I'm hoping Infinity Ward kind of learned that lesson that players were not really excited to have, like I said, these large scale maps where it feels like there's a lot of kind of just dead space or 
you're just kind of sprinting back into a fight to get there and then you die and it takes you you know 30 40 seconds to get there or even longer you're looking for someone for a long time i don't think a lot of people like that style map in call of duty unless like i said you're going to play ground war there's tons of players on that particular map so leave me a comment with your thoughts let me know what you think about the maps we have you know kind of or the map ideas we've heard about so far from activision and infinity ward also let me know if you're going to be playing the beta this weekend on playstation of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace